Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a great day so far. This is probably one of my favorite times of the year when it comes to YouTube videos because monthly favorites videos are one of my favorite things to watch and film. I think it's so much fun seeing what people have been loving and I always love chatting about my favorites with you guys. So when people start coming out with their yearly favorites, I get so excited and I spend way too much time on YouTube watching these videos. I feel like I just get so many good makeup recommendations and it's so much fun to see what people have loved throughout the entire year and what they're absolute favorite products were. So I can't wait to share my best of beauty 2016 videos with you guys. I want to split this series into four different parts so all of the videos should be up within the next two weeks and I'm excited and don't forget to leave me comments with your favorite products because you guys always give me really good product recommendations and I want to know what your absolute favorites were from the entire year. Like if you could only choose one from each category you'll have to let me know in the comments below so I can add it to my growing wish list. So my first video is going to be all about lip products. So I have liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks, lip glosses, and then at the end I'll have a few different random lip products. So if you guys are interested in skipping ahead and only really checking out one portion of this video, I will have timestamps in the description box below. Otherwise, let's jump into it. So let's start with liquid lipsticks. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, then you know that my favorite liquid lipstick brand is ColourPop. I love them because they are so affordable. Their liquid lipsticks are only $6, and I feel like they're really good quality. They really do stay in place and they just have a lot of different color options and they do have two different formulas depending on what you're looking for so they have a matte formula which is really going to dry down super matte it's definitely a little bit drying on the lips but the lipstick will stay in place all day long and then they have a satin formula which is a little bit more comfortable on the lips and it leaves a very subtle sheen and I just think those stay in place as well but not quite as long as the matte lipsticks so just depending on what you're looking for I actually only have one ultra matte lip favorite this year and it is in the shade Midi. I've loved this ever since they first released them and it's just the perfect balance between a nude and a pink. I always recommend this one when people are trying to decide which color to pick up from the website because it's just an easy color to wear. It goes with everything whether you're wearing a natural look or a more dramatic look. I feel like this lip, cl lip color is super flattering no matter what you have on so I definitely recommend picking this one up if you're just looking for an easy color that goes with everything. I feel like I was a little bit more of a fan of the Ultra Satin formula this year. I really like how they feel on the lips. They apply it beautifully and the color selection is so gorgeous. They have a lot of unique shades and I've really been wearing these three shades consistently throughout the entire year. So the first one is in the shade Magic Wand, which is a really beautiful go-to nude. Then we have Echo Park, and these are kind of similar, but Echo Park is just a little bit darker, so just depending on what you're going for that day, you might want to reach for one of these. And then I love the shade Dopey. Dopey is one of my favorite lip colors of all time. It's just the most beautiful, cool-toned pink, but again, it has a little bit of like a nude base to it, so it's not too pink. My other favorite liquid lipstick this year has been the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. I love these because they're a little bit more comfortable on the lips, at least, you know, when it comes to a liquid lipstick. I feel like all liquid lipsticks in general are a little bit uncomfortable, but this formula is a little more thin and it's more lightweight, so you can't really feel it on the lips as much. I love how they apply. They're so pigmented, but even though they're thin, they're not watery, so you can coat your lips perfectly evenly. The applicator makes them really easy to line your lips at the same time, and I love the color selection. I would say these stay in place for about six hours Hours, and then you might have to reapply them if you aren't eating and drinking but these are four of my favorite colors we have boss which is a really beautiful bright red and then we have misconduct which is a little bit more of a dark vampy red chill zone is a fun gray which I don't wear super often but if you want a unique color this is a good option and then some nerve is a really fun bright pop of color so I'm a fan of these they're a little bit more expensive than the color pop lipsticks but if you're looking to try something different these might be a great option so if liquid lipsticks aren't your thing I definitely have a few traditional lipstick formulas that I really like let me first mention my color pop lippy sticks so these are the consistency of a regular lipstick but I like them even better than a regular lipstick because I feel like the packaging just makes them super easy to apply you don't have to worry about getting them all over the place and I love the formula no matter what finish you choose because they do have a few different options when it comes to different finishes I feel like they all stay in place really well and they're all really comfortable 
comfortable to wear on the lips. They have a ton of options on the website. I have a box full of them that sits on my makeup collection right there, and I just love them. I think they're better than a traditional lipstick, but they're just really fun because they have a lot of color options and finishes on the website. So one of the finishes that I really like is the Matte X Formula. This one is going to give you a really super matte look, but it's not as uncomfortable or drying on the lips as the Ultra Matte Lip Formula. These stay in place, they will not budge, and I love the shades Cami, which is a really beautiful medium pink, and then Chateau, which is a dark vampy red. These two are my absolute favorite. And then I also love Oh Snap, which is just a lippy stick in a matte formula, and this one is a really beautiful nude, and then Aquarius, which is in a cream formula. The colors are pretty similar, but the cream formula is obviously a little bit more shiny on the lips, but I'm a huge fan of both of these. If you guys need a good nude lipstick, pick up either one of these and you will love it. So I've been a huge fan of the Bare Minerals lipsticks lately. I feel like these are nice for just when you're running out the door. I don't always want a lipstick that's going to look super opaque or feel really heavy on the lips. Sometimes I just want something easy to wear that's going to give me a little bit of color but not feel like I'm wearing anything. And these Bare Minerals lipsticks are a great option if that's what you're looking for. I have a few different favorites but of course I can't seem to find them right now. When I wear them a lot they're either like in my car or in my purse but the one that I did have with me is in the shade Sex Pot and it's just a beautiful nude. So these aren't necessarily long lasting lipsticks so if that's what you're looking for I would probably skip them. You definitely have to reapply these after a couple of hours but they feel really nice on the lips and they give you a beautiful sheen. I think the best part is that Bare Minerals did release a ton of nude lip colors, so no matter what skin tone you have, you're going to be able to find one that looks perfect on you. So I love that they came out with so many nude lipsticks because nudes are my favorite. I also have to quickly mention the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Bare It All. I think I mention this every year, but it's so affordable. It's from the drugstore, it's like two or three dollars, and this shade in particular is the most beautiful nude lipstick ever. I feel like it's not too cool toned, it's not too warm toned. It has a very slight hint of pink, but not anything too crazy, and I love how it looks and it stays in place so well. So I'm sure you guys have heard me mention this, but on the off chance you haven't, I definitely recommend picking it up. You can find it at pretty much any drugstore that carries Wet n Wild. Before we move on to lip glosses, I just wanted to quickly mention that my favorite lip liners are the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I like these because if you are a huge ColourPop lip person, they have a color that's going to match any lipstick that you pick up from the website, but I also I also feel like the formula is just, it's perfect for a lip liner. It's really creamy and really hydrating, so it doesn't feel uncomfortable on the lips, but at the same time, it does a great job at making sure that your lipstick is going to stay in place and not slide around all over the place. The one that I wear with almost every single nude or pink lipstick is in the shade BFF. This one is just the perfect nude lip liner. It goes with everything, and they do have a few different options. So they have BFF, and then they have BFF2, which is a little bit darker, and BFF3, which is even darker so depending on your skin tone there's definitely going to be one that works for you or depending on what type of nude lipsticks you like to wear I think you'll be able to find one that you love but these are awesome I feel like they just go and put or they go on really nicely and they're only five dollars so I recommend picking them up so moving on to lip gloss, I've actually really been into lip gloss a lot over the past couple of months and I am so excited because I feel like I have been neglecting my glosses for like super matte lipsticks over the past two years. So I cannot wait to wear even more lip gloss so I want to hear from you guys. Leave me a comment below with your favorite lip glosses so I can be sure to check them out. My favorite lip gloss formula is from Buxom. I love their lip glosses so much. I feel like it's just hard to compete with a Buxom lip gloss in my opinion, and they're totally worth every penny. I have a few different options. They have like sheer formulas, they have cream finishes, they have glittery finishes. So in my collection, I have a little bit of each, but the two that I wanted to mention today are my absolute favorite. They do have that plumping or tingling, cooling feeling to them, and I feel like they really do plump the lips just a little bit to the point where they kind of make your lips look super smooth so if you do have like wrinkly lips like I kind of do and you really notice them when it comes to like the matte formulas these are just going to kind of erase that and make your lips look really smooth and plump and glossy so white Russian is probably my favorite nude lip gloss of all time it looks beautiful on top of any nude lipstick because it just kind of 
lightens it and gives it a really glossy finish, but it also looks beautiful on any other lipstick if you just want to, again, lighten it. Because it is a cream finish, it is a little bit more pigmented, but it just leaves you with a beautiful glossy sheen. I think my favorite lip gloss from Buxom, and maybe of all time, is their lip gloss in the shade Dolly. It is so beautiful and so flattering on the lips. I wear this all the time. I wear it with dramatic looks, with natural looks when I'm not wearing any makeup, and it makes your lips just look so plump and so beautiful and it's a little bit of a sheer gloss so it gives you a slight hint of color but it's not anything too crazy and I cannot get enough of it I've been wearing it every single day lately and I feel like it's just the perfect go-to gloss the other lip gloss formula that I like is from bare minerals I think the buxom glasses are definitely my favorite over these but these are also a good option if you're looking for like a good go-to lip gloss so these are really nice because again they're not sticky on the lips they're really shiny and they're really comfortable and they mainly are a sheer formula so they look great on their own or also on top of lipstick. They came out with a bunch of colors when they did come out with that whole nude collection so I love the shades that they have and they're just kind of like my go-to lip glosses when I'm running out the door I want something easy to wear because they're not sticky and you do have to reapply them after probably like two hours so they don't last on the lips super long but they're just like a good go-to option and they have a lot of really beautiful nude shades to choose from. I think the applicator is also really comfortable and it just I don't know what it is about it, but I love how it feels on the lips and how it actually applies the gloss. And the last thing that I want to mention are two different lip products. So the first one is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. I'm a huge fan of this product because if you wear a lot of liquid lipsticks, you notice that those can kind of settle into fine lines or if you have like dry or chapped lips, they don't look as good as when your lips are exfoliated and smooth. So this is just a really affordable option that you can find at the drugstore. It rolls up like a lipstick and you just scrub your lips with it and it kind of removes all of that dead skin and makes your lips really smooth and just ready for lipstick application. So I'm a huge fan. They just released a bunch of new flavors, which I do have to check out, but I have to say that Cherry Tart is my favorite and it's just a really good thing to have on hand. The other lip product is the e.l.f. Lip Color Remover. Again, if you're a huge fan of liquid lipsticks or hard to remove lipsticks in general, you need to try this. It's just like a blend of oils that just really helps to break down the lip products and also hydrate and nourish your lips when you're removing it. So I'm a huge fan. You could just use olive oil or a makeup remover wipe, but I feel like this works so well and it makes my lips feel really great afterwards. So those were all of my favorite lip products of 2016. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment below with your favorite lip products so I can check them out and add them to my list because I am a lip product lover and I'm always wanting to try new brands, so I would love to hear from you guys. The rest of my Best of Beauty videos will be up over the next two weeks, but in case you're watching this video a little bit later, I will link them in the description box below once they go live. I hope that you guys have a wonderful new year and I mean it's a few weeks away still but I hope that you're enjoying your holiday season and have a great new year and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!